Hi, I'm Rabbi Anthony Knopf, and I'm the Associate Rabbi at Hampstead Garden Suburb Synagogue. Today I've been asked, what is Hanukkah Gelt, and what's the origin of the dreidel? So Hanukkah Gelt, there are lots of different theories on this as to how it actually develops. One theory is that it developed in the 17th century when children were given money on Hanukkah to take to their teachers. But eventually the children started demanding it for themselves and hence we developed this minhag, this custom of Hanukkah Gelt, of giving uh, money to our children over Hanukkah. Now of course we want to try to connect this to Hanukkah a bit more, so what a lot of people say is they connect it to the fact that after the Hasmoneans won, the Jews won in their victory over the Hellenists in the Hanukkah story, so they actually made their own coins. They made national coins for, their, for the Hasmoneans, for the Jews. Uh, and therefore, in memory of that, we give money to our children over Hanukkah um, as a memory to what happened. Uh, there is another um, development which has happened, a number of developments in more recent times. First of all, we have something called Hanukkah presents. So it's very interesting. Many of us may be more used to Hanukkah presents than actually giving Hanukkah gelt money to our children over Hanukkah. Uh, and that probably is a, inf under the influence of Christmas. The, the fact that in the non-Jewish world, uh, so many people, children, are being given gifts at this time of the year. And therefore, it developed that a lot of Jewish families also give presents to their children over Hanukkah. Uh, but it's probably not a specifically Jewish origin. And it's more of a traditional Jewish thing to give money to children. The other thing we've seen is that uh, chocolatiers have taken advantage of the phenomenon of Hanukkah gelt. And they make lots of chocolate. Uh, Hanukkah gelt. That's also something which is very cute, which we can give to our children at the time of the year. But whatever we do and whatever uh, theory we have behind it, we should remember that the word Hanukkah is related to the word Chinuch, uh, the same root. And Chinuch means education. So however we give money to our children or toys to our children, we must give it to them in such a way that we teach them to use them properly. The money to be given, some of it to charity, for example, the toys to be shared with our children's friends and so on and so forth. So it's actually a positive uh, educational experience as well as something which is a very nice treat for them. With regard to a dreidel, a dreidel is the Yiddish for spinning top. Uh, and the uh, tradition goes that at the time of the Hanukkah story, when Jews weren't allowed to learn Torah, so the, uh, the Greeks would go around and they would go into the, house, uh, the houses to make sure that no one was learning Torah. And the children would be learning. But what they'd do is they'd have these little dreidels, these little spinning tops, which would be ready for them to play with, so that if they were confronted by the Greeks, they could just pretend that they were playing with these spinning tops. And today we have these spinning tops called dreidels, uh, and they have four letters on them, because it's four-sided. Uh, one is a nun, one is a gimel, one is a hay, and one is a shin. And this stands for Nes Gadol Hayasham. A great miracle happened there, happened in the land of Israel. Uh, and in Israel, in fact, it often has a pay instead of a shin, and that is Nes Gadol Hayapo. A great miracle happened here because it was actually happened in the land of Israel. But either way, again, the real meaning and message for us when we play dreidel over Hanukkah is to remember the self-sacrifice of those children who wanted to learn about Judaism so badly and we want to perpetuate what they were doing by continuing to live and to enjoy Judaism.